friends today we are discussing a drug known as aprimilast whose brand name is otzella it is commonly known as otzella which is a cyclic nucleotide phosphodiesterase or pde4 which is an which is an enzyme which is responsible for degradation of cyclic amp in the cellular uh, biochemistry and this enzyme is responsible for the de uh, degradation of the cyclic amp and the initiation of the inflammatory cascade the biochemical reactions responsible for the production of inflammatory agents which produce inflammation psoriasis and psoriasic uh, psoriasic uh, psoriatic arthritis also so this is otzella is a enzyme inhibitor primarily which inhibits the pde4 enzyme now this is the molecule of the otzella or the aprimilas this is this chemical structure of the drug and its formula is given by this c22 h24 n2o7s in this lone sulfur molecule lone sulfur atom and the iupac name of this drug goes by n this n is this n over here of this indole dioxo iso indole for il to so this n and two over here this 1s 1s is the stereochemistry the sinister uh, there are two types of uh, molecules which are labeled as sinister when the their rotation when we go from priority series from the higher to the lowest one when the uh, rotation is the movement is anti clockwise it is termed as sinister there, there there therefore you have one s over here and the other case is when the movement is clockwise or the towards the right hand side then it is the rectus so over here uh, you have the sinister uh, the depicted by s over here now this one 3 ethoxy 4 methoxyphenyl this is this moiety we are talking about 3 ethoxy 4 methoxyphenyl 2 methyl sulfonyl ethyl 2 methyl sulfonyl ethyl sulfonyl ethyl 1 3 1 dioxo iso indol 4 il acetamide now you have this acetamide molecule over here moiety over here this acetamide residue is over here this is the methyl group over here this line signifies signifying the methyl group all these lines are denoted denoting methyl groups over here and this acetamide and then then you have this chemical structure over here so looking at the category the pharmacological category or the classification of this drug how can we classify it in which pharmacological category can we keep this drug in so it is an orally active because the best part of this drug is that you you need not give it through the parenteral route it is very orally active very easily you can administer through mouth only so it is very uh, i mean the uh, good part of this drug that it is orally active so the administration part is very good that it is an anti psoriatic arthritic agent orally active anti psoria and anti psoriatic arthritic agent small molecule as you can see the molecule is not big it is a moderately a moderate nature or even a small molecule you call it a small molecule drug to so always a small molecule drug is a good option because it uh, exerts the minimum load on our internal organs especially kidney and liver so it is a small molecule inhibitor of pde4 used in the management of or the treatment of refractory psoriatic arthritis 
these are the conditions in which this drug can be used now the uh, coming on to the mechanism of action how this drug elicits its pharmacological action we can see over here that the inhibition of pde4 by aprimelast increases intracellular levels of cyclic amp because it the drug inhibits this enzyme pde4 and this enzyme is responsible for the degradation of cyclic amp now once this enzyme is inhibited by this drug the uh, no, no more pde4 is available to degrade cyclic amp so and thereby it inhibits the production of multiple pro inflammatory mediators now these pro inflammatory mediators uh, are uh, 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 triggered when cyclic amp concentrations or levels are reduced now when this cyclic amp concentrations are higher such uh, inflammatory pro inflammatory mediators such as the pd4 tnf alpha interleukin 2 interferon gamma leukotrienes and nitric oxide synthase enzyme now all these are pro inflammatory mediators now when these the concentration of these pro inflammatory mediators rises in our body such inflammatory conditions leading to refractory psoriatic arthritis and other similar diseases they occur so this drug while interfering with this uh, enzyme inhibiting this enzyme increases the concentration of cyclic amp thereby reducing the production of or the minimizing the concentration of such pro inflammatory mediators in our body so as pd4 is a central component of the inflammatory signaling cascade as pde4 is a central component this is important to understand because the central component of the inflammatory signaling cascade is not a peripheral component it is a central primary co pri primary component which on which the cascade depends a lot so rather than a single inflammatory marker as the biological agents do because the biological agents interfere this with the single inflammatory markers this is the central inflammatory marker pde4 so this is much more potent than the biological agents which interfere with only, only with the inflammatory markers so his single inflammatory markers its inhibition may restore the hemostatic balance between the pro and anti inflammatory signaling now what are the adverse effects and contraindications of this drug now coming on to the contraindications and the adverse effects the caution needs to be exercised in patients with having a history of depression and those having suicidal tendencies and also during pregnancy it's uh, and on the and the patients who are underweight because this drug also has a tendency to reduce weight so uh, uh, the patients who are underweight should be uh, should take exercise caution while consuming this drug and also this drug has a uh, somewhat uh, renal uh, uh, the patients having Re impaired renal function should also uh, take uh, exercise caution while taking this drug uh, thanks a lot friends and i hope the information have been useful to you thank you